Welcome to commonstupidman.com. Here is your host Shanawaz. Let's make some money. Hey friends, welcome back. Shanawaz this side from commonstupidman.com, and this is going to be a podcast number nine and module number eight. So this is the phase number three, which I which I have been telling you about. And on this phase number three, uh, I will be telling you the post publishing guide. This means what you have to do after publishing a book on on, on Amazon Kindle. So module number eight is building your foundation for profit through Amazon platform. Okay. So the step number one is HTML coding for your book description. So when you are putting a description of your book on Kindle, you have to make sure that it is properly formatted in the HTML format. This will help you because you can use headlines, subheadlines, bold, italics, bullet points, and much more. Don't worry, I'm going to give you uh, all the codes and HTML tags and what uh, those tags will do for you on the description uh, box. So I'll tell you each and everything, and I'll post it. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely post those HTML tag when I'm going to publish this postcard on soundcloud.com. Okay, so you you will have a free access on this HTML code. So if your book description has this essential, you will see that your sales will increase in a matter of time. So you must have seen in the Amazon Kindle that uh, some books are having a very nice description, very uh, good formatted. So you definitely read those descriptions, but but uh, some 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 of the books are already there uh, which are not pro- uh, properly formatted so we definitely uh, always try to overlook that and uh, we generally switch switch the page we don't want to read those des- description no matter how good uh, the copywriting was there but if, if but if uh, that po- post was not formatted well not presented well we will we won't like to read it so, but if you think you cannot do it this yourself, you should probably outsource this on Fever and get it get it done for just dollar five. You would need to send the description in a word format to the gig, and once you get the code from Fever, you can uh, Fever you can put it inside the description box. You can access uh, Fever from here, www.fever.com. Okay. Now the step number two, ten percent look inside optimization when you publish a book on Kindle. Amazon offer a unique, innovative, and an excellent op- opportunity to to the people who come to the sales page of your book. Amazon allow these people to have a sneak peek and check the first ten percent pages of your book before they decide to buy. So, I'm sure that you 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 definitely saw that look inside image or logo uh, just. Above your book cover, and you you maybe or you you know uh, you will uh, open the book and read the ten uh, pages. So when someone clicks on look inside, he will see the first ten pages of the content. So it it's highly recommended that the the basic or you know your the T O C the introduction and uh, and your free book uh, page should be there because uh, a pub because a person is opening ten uh, percent pages of your book, and if and if he can see what he is going to get after buying this book, I mean the DOC table of content is properly formatted and the content and the chapter is prop- properly written over there, and he also see, he will also see that you are going to give a free gift to him or her, then definitely he'll he'll come on a buying mode. So by allowing the people to see the first ten percent of pages of your book amazon gives them an opportunity to check whether they find the book suitable for their need or not and if the book meets their quality expectation <clears throat> but amazon also allow the self publishing author in this case you in this case you to put up a strictly brilliant opportunity to work on the 10% preview part which counts actually so now i have been committed committing a mistake which more than 90% of the self publishing or the independent author have been making i'm sure so i have been putting up unnecessary information in the first 10 part of my book and there are strong chance, chances that even you might be doing so so by necessary information i mean legal disclaimer income disclaimer copyright info title page cover of the book editorial review other publication acknowledgement prologue etc i used to put this information in the beginning of my book and that is why i call it unnecessary the reason behind this is also because this advantage of me which was that most of my books were of 30 to 50 pages 
so this means that a person who had a preview of my book could only see three to five pages and which had the information that uh, turned him off so he went to check out some other books for sure so if i had been a person who was looking inside my own book i would have left i have would uh, have felt irritated and annoyed as there would be nothing interesting for me to read and lack of information addressing my problem and what the book was about would make the things complex for me here is an example i would like to uh, i would like to uh, tell you <coughs> that i have i have seen myself uh, on a book that people are uh, uh, people are adding copyrighted uh, copyrighted content on the first and pages because, and this is really a necessary thing to put on the uh, very initial pages as a self publishing author or a main job is to make sure that the first 10 pages of the book are of high value give crystal clear clarity to the readers tells about the pressing problems and also cover a few important pointer on what a reader will get inside the book if you haven't been playing much attention to this then don't worry there is still time you can edit your book and upload a new version let me tell you the customer life cycle of a kindle reader a person or a potential comes to the sales page of your book he looks at the cover of your book and if he likes the cover he reads the title and the subtitle and if they appeal to him and then see the price of your book after seeing the price the potential customer reads the description of your book and move on to the look inside feature of amazon and see the first 10 percent pages of your book if the first 10 percent pages makes him feel that his problem is being addressed and he felt connected and engaged then he check out the number of reviews and the reviews your book has along with the editorial reviews and the rating of your book the look inside feature is the make or break part as if the first 10% of the book impress the potential buyer, he will mostly probably buy it else he wouldn't. So if you are a non-fiction writer, then you should try your book with table of content. And if it is a fiction book, then you should start directly with the chapter 1. Growth hack. Now let me tell you a simple growth hack. It's always better to put yourself in the shoes of your buyer first and then read the first 10% of your book aloud. If you find it convincing enough, then chances are so the so will the buyers. You need to ask yourself why will I like to buy this book and why you have a convincing answer for this. It would mean you are good to go. Technique number three, my secret ninja strategy to make my book 50% bigger and more readable in less than one minute. Yes, this is one strategy that has uh, turned out to be a brilliant growth hack as well. Using this strategy, I have increased the length of my book by 15% without any adding any extra content. And at the same time, I have made my book more presentable and readable. Most importantly, I did, I did all this in less than a minute. Isn't it crazy? So, I know it's crazy. Just imagine that if you have written a 100 page book and you apply this strategy to it, the length of your book will instantly increase to 115 pages without any extra effort. The word count of your book will remain the same but the pages count will increase by 15%. All this happens because you simply increase the line spacing from 1 to 1.15, thereby increasing it by 15% which made your book look more readable and more presentable. This also brings uniformity throughout your book. How cool is that? Now to do this you need to follow this step. You need to first select all the content of your book like control A. You just need to select the control A and uh, control A button. Also look at the number of pages carefully. These are the page 4 pages right now. So basically uh, you have to look uh, how many uh, pages you are selecting. So step, step number 2. Now you need to right click on the selected pages. Okay. Now click on the paragraph, you will see a window over there, so you have to click on the paragraph. Now you need to change the line spacing to 1.5 lines and click OK. Boom! That's it, you have increased the length of your book. Technique number 4, power of pen name. Pen name brings uh, some really powerful opportunity for self-publishing author. Anyone can use a pen name if he or she wants. People usually use pen names when they are publishing book in very different categories or genres. For example, for my fiction books, I have a different pen name and for my non-fiction book, I have author pen name. I have done this to create additional marketing opportunities, but more than these opportunities, I did it for um, anonymity. 
many time readers have this perception that a person who is good in one thing can't be an expert of something else in such cases as well the author preferred to use pen names some author write mostly romance and fiction to protect their identity they prefer using a pen name also at almost 90% of the fiction reader, readers are women so having a pen name of woman helps in establishing a feeling of trust and connection if a person has a bad reputation then also he use a pseudo name or a pen name to build a new identity a new personality uh, which is better than the existing one and the world knows and love uh, the new personality or identity without ever knowing who the face behind that is so also if your book is are not doing well or having no sales you can try to use a pen name that is also a common household name this might make a sales come your way you can put the uh, put the pen name in in the place of the author name okay technique number 5 author central profile your author central profile is your face your reflection to the world many people like a purchase Uh, purchase a book only after seeing the author profile the author profile has many benefits like you get a chance to tell about yourself to the people you can put any award or accolades that you have received in author central profiles it builds your credibility or also helps in gathering social proof through your author profile you get a chance to reach more segments of audience your author profile have all the important links and your fans can easily follow you you can also put a post and provide more value to your readers having an author profile lets you connect with the reader or an emotional and a personal level when you use the author profile you also get a chance to tell people about different publication and this can bring in some sales as well author centrals come with a lot of benefit for author but it is also a couple of disadvantages one of the major disadvantages is the uh, changes in amazon html on all its platform if you now use your author center profile to write the description of your book you will see that the number of character permitted from writing the book description has reduced from 4000 character to 2600 character but if you use kdp to write the description of your book you will still get a 4000 character you need to choose one of these two options okay so if you choose author center profile for writing your book description you, you can't use kdp okay so you can't use kdp select that select to create an author profile click here i mean you just need to open authorcentral.amazon.com and click on join now after to create your account and login click or click um, on the profile profile tab add your information in the section you want these sections are biography photos videos speaking or other events and a blog feeds if you leave a section empty then it will not appear on your profile page you can also go back and add or edit or remove the information as per your need this is the difference between a great author profile or an ordinary author profile a great author profile has a two part first one biography interesting biography to which reader can connect to and a feeling of trust and his credibility is established almost instantly so your biography should be interesting and not boring let let's break your author bio into these three section and show you how to produce a top notch author biography essential one introduction your introduction should be appealing and good and powerful your story try to write some story or a real story if you don't have a real uh, inspirational in story then you should write a story because this is the way your reader would connect you strong cta your should put in a strong and compelling cta that persuaded your reader to take action this action uh, can be to write a mail to you or visit your website or ch- check out the exclusive information you have to read anything part number 2 uh, the other informations like similarly you can put the information for the rest of your fields once you have done that amazon takes 3 to 5 days to create your author page now when you have an author page you can add content to it and hit on the submit now you have to wait for the changes to up which usually takes up to 24 hours okay editorial review one huge advantage of author central is that it allow you to add additional block in your description you can put in the editorial review which you would have written on the back cover of your paperback editorial reviews speak of authority about the people who put them the people who usually leave an editorial review are famous people industry leaders and well known public figure and mostly important they are perceived as credible people so these review also make up an essential parameter when a customer 
has to take a decision about buying your book or not. This this editorial review is just like the testimonials you put on the sales page. Okay, so how to get editorial reviews? You can get editorial reviews in the following way. Number one, contact the person through social media platform like Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. Anything. Use the email inbox to reach the people which works very well. Contact the people through their website or support help desk. This works also good. Meet the people in person and ask for editorial reviews. So this has some limitation if you are contacting a person who belongs to other country. But this works well if you uh, meet a person in a, uh, if you meet a people in person. So offer these people a review copy of your book and make sure that you ask these people to leave a short editorial review. You can also add templates for these reviews in your mail and ask them to use a template if they are running short of time okay so to put editorial reviews you just need to go to the author center profile logged in once you logged in click, click on the books and add and uh, here you will definitely see uh, editorial reviews tab click on that editorial reviews tab and there would be a button uh, name add so click here to add the reviews after that you need to edit the button in the review section a new window open so add your editorial reviews even here so now you just have to wait for the amazon to approve these reviews and let the giant add these reviews to your books so guys this is what the post publishing of a this is the post uh, post marketing efforts you have to put to make a, a good sales from your kindle books so i hope you enjoyed uh, this post uh, kindle thing and you will def I, I, I'm, I'm hoping that you, you will like my uh, podcast and uh, share with your uh, person and definitely i'm here only to answer your question and help you so you, if you have any question you can contact through my blog www.commonstupidman.com or drop me a email okay guys till then take care and please take action